Despite recent displays of goodwill by North Korea, the rest of the international community is staying firm that there won't be any let up in sanctions until the regime gives up its nukes. According to our Kim Yasong, the foreign ministers gathered in Vancouver issued a statement to that effect, though they do support the two Koreas' decision to talk. Sanctions and pressure will remain in place until North Korea gives up its nuclear weapons. That's what top diplomats from 20 countries said at the Vancouver summit on Tuesday local time. In a joint statement, 20 nations vowed to support the inner Korean talks in the hope of a sustained easing of tensions. But the statement also called on individual nations to impose tougher unilateral sanctions that go beyond U.S. Security Council resolutions to pressure the North. In particular, the nations at the meeting pledged to improve maritime interdiction operations and stop illicit ship-to-ship -ship transfers to block trade with North Korea. South Korea's Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa expressed hope that the momentum for engagement with the North will go beyond the Winter Olympics while emphasizing that sanctions should be applied more rigorously. While repeating the sentiment that diplomacy is the best option, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson warned that the world will not accept North Korea as a nuclear state and rejected a freeze in South Korea U.S. military drills in exchange for a pause in the North's weapons development program. North Koreans know our channels are open and they know where to find us. But a sustained cessation of North Korea's threatening behavior is necessary our nations must remain united on sustaining pressure until North Korea takes concrete steps toward and ultimately reaches denuclearization. While the nations warned about the growing threat of North Korea's nuclear weapons and the need for tougher sanctions, they also welcomed the turnaround in inner Korean ties, expressing hope that diplomatic efforts can help achieve a peaceful denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.